Say hi, tech crew. Hi, tech crew. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Star Room. I'm Phil, and today it's Farm Week. Yeehaw! We're going to have a great time learning about the farm. Farms are terribly important because that's where all our food comes from. And I don't know about you, but I really like to eat. So let's get started. First, we're going to read a cool farm story, and then we're going to make a fun farm path paper. Let's get started. Come on over here. The name or title of our book is Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. When we're done, a big person is going to ask you the four questions. They'll ask you question number one, what is the name or title of the book? They'll ask you question number two, who are the characters inside the book? They're people and animals. They'll ask you question number three, what happened? And they'll ask you question number four, did you like it? So let's get started. The name or title of our book is Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Has anybody seen my glasses? Oh, they were on my hat. Oh, let's get started. The name or title of our book is Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type, and the book starts now. Farmer Brown had a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, Moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then, he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, The barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the farm door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. He probably worked for Perb. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. 
Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. The end. That was a good book. Now, let's get to work. We're going to make a fun farm path paper. We've done this before. We're going to put our name at the top because your kindergarten teacher wants that. And you're going to make a cool path all the way from the cow to the barn. So your paper will look like this to start. Remember, we're going to put our name at the top. If you wonder how to hold your crayon, check out our how to hold a crayon song. Now, we have to get the cow from here to here. Let's take the path. Be very careful. Stay in the middle. Don't go too far off. Go slow if you have to. It's always okay to go slow to do your best work. And boop, we're back at the barn. Now, the next part is what to put on the path. At school, sometimes we use old Cheerios, but you might not have any of those, but you might have some of these. You could have pieces of egg cartons, pieces of cereal boxes, anything like that. You can take those and your scissors. A big person will cut long strips for you, and then you can snip with your scissors. Remember, thumbs up when you cut. And if your family needs help learning about scissors, there's a video for that. So you're gonna snip, 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 snip. And you can put them in a little pile in a cup. This is good practice for us to pick up little things with our pincher fingers. Now, when you have a stack of them, you can use a glue stick or Elmer's glue. And a big person will help you. Remember, hot, sticky, sharp, always ask a grown-up. That's a star room rule. So we'll get your glue on. Then you can stick your tiny papers on or your tiny pieces of foam. Keep going all the way around till the farm gets to the barn. When you're done, it'll look awesome like this. Remember to hang it up because people will want to see it. Get to work, have lots of farm fun, and we'll see you next time in the Star Room.